I'm willing to I'm willing to bet a dollar or two though that the tax credit will be extended. I, I hate to be a pessimist, but I really do believe that they're going to cut some kind of deal somewhere. But they're trying. They're trying. They're trying hard. They've got a lot of time left. So we we best we can hope for is recess right now. <laughs> So, David, are you comfortable then with the non-commercial and the private um, as written? Yes. Okay. And the plan commission was also right. All right. Do I do have one comment, though, on your previous motion on Don's uh, uh, okay. correction. If you're making a setback on a participant's property, it has to be from the dwelling itself, not from a property line, because it's on the property. So that's how the ordinance is written now. Participant setback is from the dwelling unit. Which yep. is, that has to be, I so guess, the 2640 has property, to be, right. So, so the, the, the whatever figure you're using is from the dwelling on the participant mm -hmm. property, on non-participant, then it can be from the pro from the property line, yes. Okay. So and I just know the next make, question. Make that distinction. Building or dwelling? Uh, the current ordinance says dwelling. Dwelling. A house. Yes. A house. Yes. Okay. Residence. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, so for participants four times tower height, not less than 1,300 feet from a dwelling, from the participant's dwelling. Yes. Okay. For non-participants, 6.5 times tower height, not less than 2,640 feet from the property line. I also had put in there uh, I, that for participants, no waiver allowed. Do you? What's your thoughts on that? Can you waive your own health and well-being issues? Participants and non-participants, 6.5 the tower height, not less than 2,640 feet for participants sets to the dwelling, for non-participants sets to the property line. Is, is that better? Is that, is that what you're thinking? Um, if we do it that way, then we're actually punishing the property owners because they have to be farther away if they're, if we're using. I know, but that, that, that really becomes confusing with the, with the property line. Okay. So we're going 2640 from dwellings, minimum. For participants. For participants. 2640 from property line for nine participants. That, I'm fine with that. The dwelling, the dwelling is non participant. Right. And the property line. No, 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 no. 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 Well, no. Is no participant. I'm dwelling is participants. Okay. That's Tower on your own land. Holders. Yeah. You have to have that has to be 2640 from your dwelling. Okay. And the property line is for non participants. Non. And that's 6.5 for 2640. Minimum 2640. Minimum 
So would that be proper then, David? Yes. Okay. Now, Dave, in your directions to us, you said we had to give you specific reasons why we're changing. Right? It's stated on the handout. Yes. To get back to the plan commission. Right. Specific reasons why we're changing. So, we better cover that though. We could say because we didn't like the others. But that's right. <laughs> I think ultimately, as far as I'm concerned, it's health issues. Okay. Not only not only sound. Well, we need to get this written down so we can give that as our reasoning when it comes back to. The and I think there are quality of life issues. Okay. I we think, I think it will, we I, are suggesting the changes because of health issues, quality of life, and safety. Health, quality of life, and safety. Those would be the three things that I would just put my hat on. Does that seem reasonable enough yeah, for a reason? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. Satisfies you? It's your reason. Okay. What? I have what you said. How yeah, those safety and quality, quality of life. Said, I'm just Health, quality of life, and mm -hmm. safety. That would be the reasons. All right, I'm going to call for a motion on the setbacks as we've discussed at this point. If you want, I'll run through them one more time. For participants, it's 6.5 times the height of the tower. Wait a minute. Okay. That's participants. Yes, sir. Okay. That's 6.5 times the tower height not less than 2,640 feet to their dwelling. For non-participants, 6.5 times tower height, not less than 2,640 feet to the property line. I would, I would make that in the form of a motion if it's appropriate, but it's not a way. So be it. Second. Okay. Motion second. Further discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, same. Motion carries. No, Deconditioning, do you, do you want to just leave it? I, I, think, I think it's a little foggy myself. I, I think that I think the redoing the roads and bridges comes a little foggy, and I think I think in the transportation <coughs> plan or in the plan we can discuss that further. We can still deal with that. Is that okay? If not, I'll entertain a motion. No, that's if it will be discussed with the transportation committee. All right. Well, that's David. Then that's what we're passing back to the planning commission. Okay. Okay. And again, like in my opening statement, we very much appreciate everything the Planning Commission has done. They've worked hard, and I, I appreciate that. But I think these three, of course, he's done double duty, but I think, I think, um, I don't have any guilty conscience. I've, I've studied this thing pretty hard, and, and, and I don't really have guilty conscience. I honestly think we're, we're just doing what's best for the citizens of Whitley County. So. Thank you for your time. I will report that back to them. Should we not do the, if we're recommending this, should we do the total ordinance? Or not? Do we need a motion to send back to the Planning Commission the total ordinance? Ends it? Well, with that's. Those, with those changes. Yes. That's my recommendation. You know, that's my oh, question. Yeah, we I got you. I get a change. Right. But now with that change, they're going to say, well, is there anything else in the ordinance they want to change? We ought to, I think, make a commitment. We will, we approve the ordinance with these changes. If they come, they have a right to send it back to us. Yep, you should, you, you should you, verify that. You said that beautifully, so why don't you make a motion? Because <laughs> that's right. And that's a good point, because 
we're saying the ordinance is okay, but but we want this change. So. so. Okay, I would so move that the commissioners, as of three fifteen, approve the ordinance. What's it called? Wind turbine ordinance. Wind farm ordinance, as submitted to us with the two changes that we have approved for participants and non-participants setback, and that we send that with those changes back to <coughs> planning commission. I would second. Don't that. ask me to repeat. Okay. <laughs> I think we got it. Okay. That. All in favor of the motion. Raise your right hand. All opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you. We should be able to get that to the commission in their June meeting, June 20th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For... Thanks, everybody. What about your waiver? What about your waiver? Uh, I'm going to let them, I'm not, I'm not going to add it in. I'm not going to add the waiver in this time. All right. Um, Gene Roars. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome.